Hello, everyone. My name is Morgan Williams, and I have the privilege this summer to work with Unitil on their battery energy storage feasibility study. The beginning of my fellowship began with me learning more about the electricity sector and how it's regulated from a national level with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to a regional level with ISO New England, and most importantly, the local state level with the New Hampshire Public Utilities Commission, which creates regulations, and the New Hampshire Department of Energy, which guides energy-related policy throughout the state. This allowed me to better understand the policies and statutes which utilities must follow, determining how money is spent, how rates are set, and how to best support the ratepayers in each of the utility service territories. Some of the relevant topics I learned about, which are pertinent for a future battery energy storage program, are revenue requirement, rate case recovery, and a general understanding of New Hampshire's distribution grid. From there, I focused a lot of my research on battery energy storage systems and residential battery storage programs that already exist across the country. A battery energy storage program primarily consists of batteries in a customer's home. That battery can provide backup, backup power for them. It charges during low demand times when it's cheaper and offloads during high demand times when it's usually more expensive to offput the home's energy use. This is all controlled by utility or partner company. This can reduce constraints on the local distribution grid, provide savings, and allow for the grid to be more resilient. There are many different battery systems out there. As I researched them, I was able to create a condensed list of batteries for a potential program. Researching already established programs provided me with a better understanding of how other utilities were able to get their programs started, laying out different benefits they had found, batteries could provide their rate payers. And this is crucial because utilities in the region have implemented battery programs with a variety of different financial structures and ownership models. By getting this perspective and these different strategies, I'm able to provide a better informed suggestion for the structure of a potential program Unitil could offer. <clears throat> Now that the summer is nearly complete, I'll be leaving Unitil with two main documents that can be used to help determine if a program is feasible, and if so, what options they have at creating that program and what batteries should be considered for one. A benefit cost guideline document and a battery comparison sheet. The benefit cost guideline will lay out the numerous benefits that battery energy storage program can provide and suggestions for areas that Unitil continue, can, can continue to research internally and see if they're more applicable. The cost end is somewhat different and more dependent on the structure of a given program and also the available technology Unitil has at its disposal for running one. While exploring numerous programs, some utilities such as Green Mountain Power had already created platforms where they're able to monitor, monitor the batteries in their program while others had partnered with energy management companies who oversaw the management of batteries, determining when to charge them and when to discharge them, notifying customers of any relevant information such as grid peaks or poor weather conditions. Structure of the program goes in line with financing options for Unitil. For example, will the program include purchasing batteries and leasing them to customers, or will it be an incentive-based program where customers could be paid up front for joining? There's also potential for benefits based on the performance of batteries and whether or not they're reaching peaks like they need. All this information will be geared towards Unitil and the specific areas they can target and research further. The battery comparison sheet will include any relevant attributes of batteries can provide for their owners, some of them being highlighted in the screen here, such as system costs, user capacity. The document also include technical standards for each battery, local distributors, installers in the region. And I hope this document will prove very useful in narrowing down a potential suitor for a future program. But that is all. And I would like to thank you all for listening. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Now that that is done, I can stop sharing.